Quartz crystals are widely used in all manner of electronic circuits. They are the resonant element in things like clock oscillators for computers uh, and other logic circuits. They're used for oscillators in radio frequency circuits and they're also used in filters where they provide a really sharp filter for use in many, many radio and other applications. But what's inside these elements? What do they look like inside them? What we're going to do in this video is show you what they look like inside so that you can get more of a concept, more of an idea of what they are, how they work and what they look like. Quartz crystal resonators come in all shapes and sizes. Here's a wire ended one and this is a surface mount one. And here we have another surface mount one that has a ceramic package. As we can imagine from the circuit symbol, quartz crystal resonators contain a slice of quartz crystal and this is held between two electrodes and these are connected to the outside world. Quartz occurs naturally like this, but for electronics the quartz is made synthetically to get much higher quality crystals and here you can see the comparison between a naturally occurring one and a synthetic one. The quartz is sliced into what are called blanks, where their size and other factors govern the frequency of their resonant point. To get an idea of what they're like inside, this is a really old quartz crystal, and here's what the actual quartz resonator looks like. The diameter of the actual quartz element is about 25mm to give you an idea of the size. And I also took an old 1940s crystal apart and as I hope you can make out there's a slice of quartz between the two metal electrodes. This shows the basic format for newer ones although today far more modern techniques are used. So here we see a leaded crystal resonator and this is what it looks like inside after I filed away part of the case to get inside. The metal can is sealed and it's filled with an inert gas such as nitrogen to stop chemicals getting into the quartz and the electrodes and slightly changing their properties. Chemicals can enter the crystal lattice and the electrodes may oxidise. As you can see here the wires come up from the connections from the outside to the electrodes and these electrodes are plated onto the quartz crystal resonator itself. And this resonator, just to give you an idea of the size, is about 8 millimetres in diameter. And it's also possible to look inside surface mount crystals as well. These are naturally very much smaller and this sometimes limits the lower frequencies that are possible. And again you can see that the electrodes are plated onto the quartz element. This particular crystal is a 19 megahertz one and the dimensions of the crystal itself are just 5 by 2.5 millimetres and it's only 0.085 millimetres thick, so it's pretty small. So next time you think about quartz crystal resonators, remember what's on the inside. They are absolutely amazing little wonders of technology. So if you need any more information, head over to the description area where there are more details and links. But also, please don't forget to watch more of our videos, like this video, and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.